Hey there, thanks for watching the Drawing for Adults video today. Today we are going to be drawing subtractive portrait drawings, so I'll be explaining a little bit more about that in just a moment, but if you aren't familiar with our class, this class is offered as a partnership between the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center. So today we will be using charcoal, so if you have some compressed charcoal or vine charcoal and charcoal paper, I hope that you will grab that out. So what I want to show you is that we are going to be using our erasers today actually for our drawing. So the thing that I really want to point out most is that since I'm doing this digitally, I have the ability to erase fully through this charcoal, okay? So you can see me doing that here, but that's not fair, right? I can do that because I'm doing it digitally, but you cannot because you have a regular eraser. So I don't think it's fair for me to do that. So I'm gonna be using this eraser here so that you are able to get a better idea of what it will actually look like when you're drawing with your eraser today. Your first step is, is going to just be to take your charcoal and cover your whole paper with it as dark as possible basically. So um, you can see that I've already done that here. So that's going to be your first step. From here we will start sketching out the face. So as I draw this I will point out um, you know, I will label where the standard measurements of the face are. This is going to be a face, my example anyway, is from a profile. So it's a woman and her head is tilted kind of over her shoulder in a way. So you can see here I've got where the, I've got the lab, at the top of the head labeled, eyes are about halfway, nose are about halfway from the eyebrow line to the bottom of the chin, and the lip line is about anywhere between one half to one third of the way down from the nose to the chin. So those are just some basic standard measurements that I think is really helpful to, as just a little refresher when drawing a portrait, just to double check and make sure everything is okay. So you can see I've got everything kind of down here, but everything is really light, right? Like you're probably having to squint your eyes even just to watch this video. It feels like you took your glasses off in the dark. <laughs> so. Now what I'm doing is I'm coming back in with my eraser, and, and if you've got a kneaded eraser or white vinyl eraser, whatever you have will work. Um, even a nice little pencil eraser can work for details. Um, and I am just pressing down harder. So I'm pushing with my hand, increasing the amount of pressure that I am applying onto my paper so that it will erase more of the charcoal. Charcoal is kind of thick and it's very messy. So that's what's great about doing this digitally is it's actually not very messy, but um, but I, I am having to pay very close attention to my smudges if I was if I were doing this, you know, in, in real on real paper or whatever. Um, because I don't want to make a giant mess and I want to be very, very careful to um, you know, just wipe away the parts that I want. If you accidentally erase too much, you can always come back in with your charcoal and kind of build that back in, smudge it out, you know, use like a paper towel or a rag or whatever you have on hand to help with some of this blending um, to get it so it's not so streaky if that's happening. If paper is really key, I could go on and on about what kind of paper to buy that's a nice softer paper that works really well for a project like this. But obviously, I'm not expecting you to go out and buy something very um, specific, but some kind of nice cotton paper could be really great. But anyway, so you can see here, basically the places where I have pressed down harder are the places that are going to be lighter. And I still tried not to press down or, um, you know, too hard with digitally or whatever so that it wasn't realistic for you. So I hope that this was really helpful and that you've enjoyed today's video.